What's up? This is AC News here. Um, I'm finally off after quite a bit of six days, and um, there was snow uh, yesterday forecasted, and there was a lot of sleet that was going on for a few hours. Then about three inches of snow, so technically it's negative, like, that's my furnace turning on, by the way, too. It is, it feels like three degrees right now. It was negative three degrees earlier or so. So, um, yeah. It's going to get down to nine degrees and it's going to feel like three at in the morning. So, yeah, it's been... Crazy. I mean, it's just people going in, shopping a lot, and... You know, it's the season, and um, that's how you make a lot of money for, like, King Marts or other stores that um, when snow hits, people around here just go crazy and start buying a bunch of food, like bread and milk, uh, things like that. And, yeah, that's easily done. You're surprised how much you would actually, a store would actually make. Um, considering Christmas month is next month. And, um, yeah, there hasn't been any crimes lately, so it's been pretty good, I think. I've been paying attention because I'm constantly working, and, um, the guy, the other guy had, um, paid the miss because his father's, uh, issue, he's got cancer, so, uh, yeah, respect for the worker, so, uh, it was busy, uh, Sunday, before we had that winter storm coming up here, and it was coming from the north. West, so it's like that big system, and um, yeah, it said we eventually hitting here. And by the time I got back from lunch, it was like, man, it was already here, sleeting and all that. So I was like, yep, pushing three carts at a time when the snow was coming down. So I was like, until six. Luckily, um, I got to come in in early and leave early around six. So it was originally eleven to eight, and um, that was better because my asthma and my um. Um, what you hear in the background is those trucks pushing the snow and all that, the ice and the snow mixture, and I don't think there's no school today. It's been like two days, I think there's like two days without school, basically. So yeah, it's a snow day, two of them, apparently, so. Yeah, it's just crazy. I mean, this is just the first month, the first part of November when we got snow and it's like just nuts last year we had a lot of that before springtime hit there was a bunch of snow on the way and it wasn't as you know there was a couple cold parts but we'll see how the winter goes on this year and see how mild it really it, technically what they're saying it ain't supposed to be mild so it's 2020 is going to be a Cold with more snow, they're saying the farmer out back is saying, like, hey, there's a high chance of this cold weather uh, with snow, and that's yeah, just how it is. Or they could be wrong, and we could be lucky, like 2017, when it was like 80, like 60, 70 degrees in February in the first, you know, the first month or so, first part of the month, you know, and later on, too. And, that was a abnormal uh, warm up for my area, and we were at close to seventy degrees Sunday, sixty nine while working. So I didn't need. I just took all my extra coats off and all like that. I didn't need. Just had didn't need it because it was so warm. Just had a t shirt on. So yeah, it was crazy warm. And it's like 30 deg thirty two degrees the next day, like yesterday, and then the temperature started falling rapidly. Um, yeah, it's just been crazy. We had like that this year, the same thing. We had days in February that were in the 60s to 70 degree mark for the last few years. So it's been kind of like that. It looks like we may have a decent winter or we could. It's kind of early. We could still have a worse form of winter. So keep my eye out. I'm going to have to, hopefully the ice melts. I mean, the snow melts, of course. I had had boots on. I just put them on yesterday morning because I know I 
shoes are not going to work for this these conditions. Excuse me. So yeah, you can hear a lot of that, and this the furnace is so old that it has to constantly turn on, and you know it, we might have to replace it one of these days. It's old. The person who used to live here. Um, didn't have the house insulated, so the first year in like 2018 in the winter, the first few months um, were really frigid in this house, and I was living with my parents at the time, so I technically wasn't in here during the night. Occasionally, we'd be here in the morning or so, or you know, staying over because the weekend and me being off. Uh, it's not always the case anymore since uh, there's people who need certain days off, you know. Um, yeah, I was freezing. We literally had to wear coats inside of this house. It was horrible. And now we have, um, it's nice. I'm going to have to actually uh, vacuum a couple areas, click, clean up the rooms, and uh, get ready for the next few days. And I'll come back, have a full wallet <laughs> with the paycheck I needed, run low, try and stretch the dollar for the last week or so. You know, cut cutting costs, you know. You know, it's not easy when you're pushing this much and I had to keep drinking horseshoes and because I cramped so much with all these, it was just a hassle pushing those cards. I was like four, I was getting too much, five, I was getting too much and I went down to one or two or three. Yeah, it was horrible. So yeah, got home fine, had to get a ride. So I was like, technically... Yeah, the guy was luckily nice to me. He works there. So it's like, yeah, thankful of that because um, my mom would not like me walking by myself. Especially with snow and then the possibility of falling because of the illness. Um, the, especially when you have a, a liver disease that can affect your blood clotting activity at certain points of your time where some months will be good, some months will be bad. And, um, that was not a thing to do. It would eventually cause a bleed if I got hurt. I mean, falling down may be a lucky uh, no bleed, but I can't guarantee it every time. But um, if he has one of those diseases where you got to be watchful of everything you do, cuts, everything, just make sure that you don't get an injury. The health my fracture levels get a little higher at times, but... Uh, it's just a whole horrible disease to be born with, and especially that um, cuts. If I get cat scratches me, thankfully it hasn't been bleeding. Usually it would start bleeding, usually pretty good. But especially when you have a missing a protein in your blood since you're like 10 months of age, and that um, it's factor eight, because factor seven is the same as factor eight. If they could ever use the therapy to do that and replace factor eight, that'd be better. But until the engine therapy, it's a little far from now, but it's getting better over time. The studies for humans is working, so uh, uh, hopefully the prayer did end the disease back in the first part of the year. Because that was a horrible month of the first part of the year that... Uh, I had bleeds, and I had a couple at least, and, uh, yeah, thankful, for sure. Especially keeping my vision and my hearing and everything, yeah. So, anyway, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe, comment, like, below. Thanks for watching.